Good morning, guys, and happy Fashion Week. I am knee deep in the middle of New York Fashion Week craziness. It's Saturday, and Fashion Week started Monday, basically, and I've just been doing nonstop shows, events, like walking and watching shows, and it's a lot of makeup on and off, and I saw you guys were requesting more makeup tutorials. <laughs> So I was getting ready for a show that I have today and I was like, well, I'll just film myself. So here I am. I'm going to show you guys a daytime look that I've been doing for my shows that I go to during the day. Something easy, fast, because I never have a lot of time. Also, I like to keep it pretty simple because that way, every night I've been having an event, I can build on that. So I don't want to take off all my makeup at night and then redo it. I just want to keep my base and then build it up for evening. So I'm going to do two videos, this one, and then watch out in a couple of days, I'll release my day to night, day to evening look for you guys. Um, ignore my massive pimple, not massive, but my pimple is pretty normal for fashion week just because I'm getting makeup on and off all the time. I'm stressed, tired, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with these Mimi Luzon Pure Gold Drops, which are awesome for the winter because it's very hydrating and it just gives you that like extra glow to like dull skin. Just a couple drops. Ooh. Um, you guys have seen me use her products a lot. I used it in my like, like going to bed video. Yeah, so I'm starting with that just to give me an extra glow. So for the base of my skin, I'm gonna do, I got my beauty blender, huh, so cute. I'm mixing this Giorgio Armani Crema Nuda, um, just one pump on my hand, with this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation because it's kind of, the first one's like kind of like a tinted moisturizer that gives me a nice glow. The second one's more of a foundation and because I have that little zit um, and I'm pale, I wanna like, you know, I'm just gonna mix them on my finger, on my hand with my finger, and then I'm just gonna use my hands to rub in my skin. I don't like to ever really go too heavy on my foundation, even for evening. I just don't like it to look cakey. I think it's like, if you can if you can not go too heavy, I think it's better. That's why I like to mix tinted moisturizers with foundations. A little my neck. Yeah. So I'm all spread in. All right, then I'm using this Chanel concealer. I just whack myself in the nose, cute. <laughs> Um, this is great because it's not super heavy. I use different things for day and night. And if you have a little zit, just right there. Anywhere there might be a little redness. And that's the look, so thanks for watching. <laughs> just kidding. So now I'm gonna just blend. Sometimes if I feel like it's not thick enough under my eyes, I'll finish my makeup, my eye makeup, whatever, and then I'll go back and do it again. Just dot that little guy. Same with pimples, like sometimes you need two coats to cover them up. Oh, I'm just gonna blend my neck, huh? So for my eyeshadow, which you can do this really in any order, I'm using this little naked palette because I think it's a great daytime palette. It's not like too heavy. Um, I'm wearing this like plaid look today. It's just good nudes. Anyways, I'm gonna start off with that. I've got a little eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna start off with Venus. It's like the shimmery one, and I'm gonna mix it with Boxy. <laughs> I'm gonna mix the two of them and just go in on my eyelids. It's nice and light, brightens my eyes. Under my brow bone. Then I'm gonna go in with Woes. I'm basically just making my way over. Or what is it, W-O-S. And I'm gonna go in like right in the middle here. These colors are so great because they're so light, so it's not like you put your brush on and then it's like, oh, I did too much. It's like, it's really good for building. Then I'm gonna just go over to Naked 2, um, a little bit darker, and I'm gonna start my crease. Same as the other side. I like to do one eye, or I don't like to do one eye and then the next. I like to just do both as I go. I feel like that's better because it's easier to make it even. Now, I'm gonna take this little, little brush. And I'm gonna take Naked 2, and I'm gonna just go under my eyes lightly for a little indefinition. Some people don't like uh, makeup under their eyes. It's totally your call. I like how I look. I just think it makes my eyes look bigger. Now I'm gonna go back to the first one, and I'm gonna go right into the... 
Now, a little secret that I like for like an easy liner, if you're not good with liner and you want a little pop, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with faint. I'm not gonna go this dark just cause it's daytime. And I'm taking this little angled brush and I'm just gonna pop it like right in the corner. Just for a little definition. Like it's like a little line, but it's not like an obvious liner, which is why I really like it. Same with this eye. Okay, does that look even? Pretty, not so even. Wait, I think it's this light. Pause. That looks pretty even. Perfect! So my eyes are done. Going in my brows, I've got this Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's great because one side is this little creamy pencil. Take the little other side, brush them up to see if you missed anything. See, I missed now my favorite little product, Gimme Brow by Benefit. So cute and little. Sometimes if I go too dark, I like to just ugh, use my finger and smudge it in. Set them with this. Coats them and sets them so they don't like. You can also use like hairspray and a little brow brush. A lot of girls do that. Yay, brows are done. It always looks really intense in this light, but it's really not. See, that's better. Contour. I don't like to go super heavy on the contour during the day. That's why I'm using this powdered contour by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's so cute. We got this for the VS show. How cute is that? So I'm using the Sculpt with a little brush just under my cheekbones. Blend it really well. Same as the other side. And I like to go under here. Some people like nose. I'm not super into it, but... Just go like that. Okay. The highlight. I'm gonna do highlighter later too, but I'm, I'll just do a little bit of this one. to start on my cheekbones, nose, Cupid's bow. Bronzer. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm using this Lara Mercier. I got a bigger brush here. Um, this is bronzer 01. So I'm gonna just do an overall coverage. Like I said, Face is pale. Never miss the neck. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with this Dior Rosy Glow. It's awesome, it's healthy glow. This is the color, it looks crazy, but it basically just is perfect for a day because it brings out the natural pinkness in your cheek. So it's not like, it's not this pink, you know what I'm saying? Just like a nice little pink. Since I feel like I'm not perfectly concealed and that's bothering me. I'm gonna just go in with another round of concealer. A little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna use this brush this time just because I feel like it's more easy to spread once I've done the rest of my skin. I always get it like right there, right in the middle of my forehead. Okay, powdering. Laura Mercier translucent powder is awesome because it's not white on your face. I take that brush and I just go under where I crease in my eyes. Maybe I'm sweating under my mustache. Go over where I just did that little pimple. Any other T-zone area really that you feel you need coverage. Okay, highlighter. This, RMS Beauty, it's great, it's organic. And this is called Magic Luminizer. And it's just a cute little pot. So just go in on the cheekbones, it's super natural. Gives you a little glow. Final step, mascara. All right, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Classic Eyes to Kill Classic. They have a heavier one, but it's this is better for daytime. So I just scrape it off. Don't want any excess. And now I just go in. You can curl your lashes too. I kind of forgot that step. But like I said, it's day. I don't need as much drama. This is like super great, not super clumpy. Makes him look long and voluminous. And then also under the bottom, if that's totally just your call, I am a bottom lash kind of gal. I did forget a crucial step. Lip balm, Dermafill, and my classic nude liner in my in my waterline. Helps get rid of redness too. Now I'm popping. Okay. 
last things last <laughs> lip i love charlotte tilbury for lip she makes a great lip that's what i'm gonna do okay so i'm gonna just whoa line my lips now i'm gonna go in i guess i don't have that exact lip cheat thing but i'm just using stone rose not too much it's like blotting blotting okay and i'm gonna take my hair down and that is my day, New York Fashion Week. Not too heavy on the eyes or lips or contour, keeping it natural. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for my day to night look. I'll be using this exact makeup to transform it into a more evening look. So stay tuned.